A junior from Kabimmer, Senegal, number 10, Gorgi Jang. Coming to the final game. And he almost had a steal there. Here's Jang, the kick out and the wide open look. Sheer beheaded, and Jang didn't score in the first half. Blackshear didn't score at all. Hardaway, scoop shot, Jang knocked it off the window. Luthor's got to get behind a little bit involved down in the post with his strength. Yeah, and a nice spin on the baseline, but got too far under the basket. And Jang will keep it alive. The bounce pass, Blackshear off the window. Nice play by Black. They changed so well. They really try to take you out of any rhythm offensively. And again, this time around Jang, but not enough spin on it for Burke. Burke, the lob underneath. Not a good pass. Not a good look right there. How about Jang in that lane? And he's being productive. 5'11 freshman out of Crown Point, Indiana, has just given Michigan a three-point lead back. Here's Jang over McGarry. Nice shot. That's good news for them because he was a no-show offensively in the last game. Again. These kids have been with a basketball since the day they're born. That's right. I mean, little toddlers. Again, the deep pass. And this one's going to cost Jang a cheap foul. He might have wanted to stay away from that one. Cheap foul, but I agree with you. Those are dangerous passes. They got away with two of them so far. Dangerous pass. Just putting that ball up in the air. It's like a defensive back going after for a pass for a touchdown. That's the second time he's had it stolen now. So not having Trey Burke out there to handle the ball has cost Michigan a couple of times. That's a big loss with him on the sideline. Double dribble. Ruler turns it right back over. That's their second miscue. See, the difference right now is all doesn't have the ability now. Make them shoot over the top of that. And again, Michigan nice doing this. Michigan doing this right now without Trey Burke on the floor. But if I was Russ Smith, I wouldn't back too far off number two when he's got the ball in his hands. McGarry, right-handed hooks, not even close. And the second attempt blocked by Jank. Yeah, more getting major four. Albrecht drives inside the kick out to Robinson for three. Air ball, McGarry. Goes to the deck to get it. Player of the year on the bench has outscored Louisville by seven while he's over there sitting. Albrecht, this one's blocked by Jang. Thanks, that big fella. Don't be getting away. I'll shut that up with my leg. You know, the fourth national championship coach to go down against him this year as the block. And then the foul on McGarry after that. Tony Green is fifth. John Higgins is first. Here's Jang across the lane. Here with the superstar player of the year sitting on the sideline. Well, here's the situation Louisville was in in the second half the other night, down 12, and had to dig themselves out of that hole. Can they do it again tonight? This might be a little tougher hole because of the kind of personnel they're facing. Time out. Minutes of basketball left, and they're down 12. You know, they're really dominating them on the glass as well. Michigan really two to one ratio. That'll help. Hancock for three. 40 remaining. It's a 10 point game. Hancock will try another triple over McGarry. Got it. There he is again. Just tight. He may be called Big Dog. Look at that right to the goal. Seba had it blocked by Robinson. This is the way championship games are supposed to be played. Got a matchup with Hancock with three fouls. Gordon Burke. I think he's too quick with the dribble for Burke. There's a switch off now. Burke with Jang on in. He'll drive it in. Lost the handle. I don't think it was a block shot. I think he just lost it going up. Jang, extra pass underneath. That's a good one. Behanny. Strike to be handy. He's a key player. They got to get more touches. Just when you think you got Louisville living on ropes, they come right back. Bam, bam, bam. And bam, bam, they're up by one. Yes, sir. Burke, nice spin inside, but against the big fella and drew the foul. That was a terrific move, though. What a spin out of Can't get around him. McGarry on the low block against Jang. Trying to cross the lane. He'll have to give it back outside of Hardaway. His three's no good. Jang with a rebound. Jang did a great job. Staying on the floor. Going to pass. See if they can get a stop. Try to double team on Hancock. And now Jang finds Smith wide open for three. In and out. Burke on the rebound. Down four. Hardaway drives and slams. That's a big double block in college.
college basketball. Watch this move by Hardaway though. Over Jang. Jang didn't put his hand in the way. Just got his head out of the way. Six foot six. You got a guard. Six six. Most dominant. So he's going to check Siva. So they need a lot of help. They're trying to trap him right over the foul line. Jang just knocks it down from 17 feet out. He has really improved his ability to shoot the ball. He was white. Louisville, if they score this trip, they'll have the biggest lead of the night. He's got to get hard away on the floor as well. I think he's going to wait for the next session when they get an offense to bring him in. Ziva through traffic. Robinson got a piece of it. Jang with a rebound. And now Morgan will pull it down. Have it ripped away by Bahannon. Oh, wow. Wow, is that a little contact? This Ziva with that driving ability. Trying to use the left hand. Good offensive rebound. Jang's going to spin it. What I thought was a little contact by Jang. Michigan trying to get it back to two. Oh, big collision. And a block. And Burke will go to the free throw line. He's become a great player. Keep working and working and working. And that's what Trey did. Coming right at you here. Goes up, gets off balance. Fouled by Jang, and then sure is. Ruckless. Here he comes again. He goes again. This time a kick out to Hancock, who was open momentarily for a three. And now he'll drive in and finger roll one. The hand and got it back. Off the window, miss. And now it's the outlet pass to Robin. They got maximum. I don't mean this to be negative, but I think they got maximum out of orbit. I really do. Jang. And now Louisville's got his biggest lead. He's got to get the goalie on the floor. Between his legs around his back. Trying to get a screen. A switch. Gary switches out on it. Jang in low. A hook shot. A long, oh, sweeping hook shot. What a beautiful play. They were executing so well. It's a must possession to score. Hardaway on the drive, foul. And it's on Hancock, and that's his fourth. Look at this. Play makes like Kareem Abdul Jamal. Goji Go Jang. Big hook shot. Eight points for him. Back for the Cardinals. That's not the smell of the gold trophy. A jumper with joy in the streets of Louisville. Burke on the drive, got it to roll in. He's got 20. Off on the glass. Michigan's got to get points off this possession. Burke hit by Jang and hits the deck again. Oh, is he taking a pound? A pound? Tell you, Jang has really, I think, won the battle against McGowan. He really has. I'm not talking about point production. He has eight points, but he's controlled McGowan. Nobody's been able to do that in the first five games of the tournament. Again, Burke fouled by Jang, and then this time he hit his elbow when he landed. I got a feeling he's got a little aches and hurts. Ooh, you're not kidding. But knowing that kind of kid, you know what's